Snails, a mollusk with a single spiral shell into which the whole body can be withdrawn. The snail has also had some cultural significance, being used as a metaphor to signify a thing or person that moves exceedingly slow. I can't think of a better creature to describe the type of energy I get out of the art from 04119 Snail. A lot of Snail's art revolves around anime, internet humor, and just in general, the Doomer meme subculture. It tastes of nihilism, depression, loneliness, and self-deprecating humor with a touch of ligma. It's both funny and dark, but cute. While I'm not an art major, I think I'd describe this style as messy and unpolished, but that actually lends itself well to the intended vibe of these drawings. In a way, it adds a bit of edge and grit to these pieces. At least in this small community, there seems to be a mini surge of these meme low-key type of drawings. Here's another artist that was likely inspired by Snail. And here's another. I still don't know exactly how to describe this style, or genre, or whatever you want to call it, but it's distinct in its own weird way. So, why are people, including other artists, drawn to this type of stuff? What is it about these anime girls in weird situations that people like me enjoy? Yeah, I don't know. I just like it. But, if you held me at gunpoint and asked me why I like Snail's art, I could shoot you an answer. When you think of anime, it tends to be associated with being colorful, cool, creative, or cute, and in general, just pleasant to look at. Contrasting that colorful world with memes and dark humor is a nice effect. Want to communicate what it feels like to be socially withdrawn? Here you go. Want to communicate hiding your inner frustrations? Here's this. Want to communicate the realization that better days are behind you and that the passage of time is a cruel mistress? Here's another one. This is done all with the nice juxtaposition of cute anime characters in harrowing mental states, and with a kind of dark humor. Oh, and this isn't all snail draws. Like, look at this capybara. Or this wabbit. Or this cat. Ugh. I obviously don't know how snail comes up with their drawings, but to me, it seems like they're drawing whatever they feel like in the moment, and that's pretty great. We get to have a little insight into someone else's brain, and can find solace in that we're not too dissimilar. A lot of art is about communicating ideas from visuals alone, and sometimes it can say something about the artist and the consumers of said art, like you and me. So, if you're feeling withdrawn and alone, remember that out there is a little artsy snail that can probably relate. No really though, if you're depressed, please get professional help. While it's good that communities of people with similar struggles can congregate, the end goal should always be to become mentally better. Anyways, here, take this hamster. Thanks for watching.